a long time. But even still, there's only been a handful of players over the years that have captivated an entire nation throughout their career. More often than not, it's a combination of on-field dominance, swagger, and an off-field presence that gave people something to talk about. And depending on the case, it can single-handedly make or break a household name. But of all of those names and faces throughout football history, I don't think a single one of them can lay a finger to the bizarre, incredible, and ultimately doomed run that Tim Tebow had as the NFL's next great superstar. Behind a Heisman winning quarterback and a loaded roster overall, UF's run with Tim Tebow and Urban Meyer at the helm was like a supernova that came in to incinerate college football and then just disappear into the night. Hello everybody, Sandra Adelaide here. Um, I want to welcome you to this program we are, where I'm going to be talking about Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow is, a, is an American footballer. Yeah, you know, he plays not soccer, but American footballer. And um, he's a super, super mega star uh, from the college and from high school. But he's, he's supernatural, stupendous uh, rise and fame is unexplainable. Uh, it's unexplainable to the natural mind. And uh, from what we've just heard from that report and many others, you discover that it's, it's not, there's, there's not, never been a star as famous as him coming from high school and uh, coming from high school and college that has the kind of notoriety and fame that Tim Tebow has got. Now, by st while studying to, the, for, to do this program, I discovered that, uh, you know, with the phenomenal success that he had, not just on the field of play, but the media coverage, the reputation, and, you know, the fame that God provided for him, you could see for sure that this guy is one God sign and wonder. Is a sign and a wonder all by himself, and uh, and it's easy to prove because he grew up in a Christian home, and he started living by his Christian principles uh, very early. So all his life he's been a Christian, and he stood and he has always stand for um, Christian principles. It is it is very clear to me that God raised him up to make a statement, to make a statement to parents especially Christian parents who are homeschooling their children and that they should not resist their children. And even their, the Christian parents that have their children go to uh, public schools, that let them express themselves, let them use their talents, let them, you know, experiment, experiment where they want, where they wish to see themselves, especially, you know, in any area of endeavor apart from just church life. A lot of times we limit people's uh, calling to church and pulpit and the parents of uh, Tim could have limited him to just say okay no go to Bible school okay not just be a preacher it's only through the pulpit God could use you but with the kind of influence that this guy had had if he had been a pastor I mean I don't think there was any there's any pastor that has ever had a nationwide and worldwide coverage and influence like this guy has had through sports so we shouldn't dictate to our children that they have to just do so-called spiritual stuff. Now, football, American football doesn't look too spiritual. It's very physical. And a lot of, you could even call it uh, combat in, involved in it. But um, that is exactly what God had decided to use uh, Team Tebow for. Now, a lot of people, some people started to, to say that he has failed as a NFL you know, draftee and as an NFL player. But, you know, it, is, it was not created for NFL. It was created for something bigger. And God only used football to give him a platform. And with what he's doing right now, with what Tim Tebow is doing right now, you could see that God has bigger things for him. He only needed a platform for, for him and for himself. Let's have a look at the video again, and a more fuller video of how his life and the records that, you know, he has broken and what a phenomenon uh, sign and wonder this Tim Tebow is. It's only the hand of God that could have made this happen. 
That's it. But, but during its run, both the dominance of the quarterback at the center and the litany of media attention that swarmed around him was unlike anything ever seen before. Tebow commanded the national spotlight. The promise, the signature eye black, his outspokenness about his beliefs on and off the field, all of that went into creating a legendary figure that would go on to etch a resume that's matched by few others in the history of football. Heisman Trophy winner, two-time BCS national champion, two-time first-team All-American, first-round pick in the NFL draft, and a playoff win in just his second season as a pro. If I go on rattling off those accolades, and you didn't know what Tebow's been up to recently, I'd be willing to bet you a lot of money your first guess as to what his current career is wouldn't be minor league baseball player. And yet, here we are. Now that we're a few years removed from the tail end of Tebow's career in the NFL, people seem to have made up their minds as to why he fell out of the spotlight, be it his massive hype, mechanics, or off-field presence. But today, I'd like to take a look deeper into him as a player, and maybe what could have been for the bright flashes of potential that Tebow showed as both an athlete and as a leader over his roller coaster of a career. Tim Tebow was not created to just play football. I think God created him to be a sign and wonder, to create the fame around him, and the, to give him the platform. But I think he's created to be God's spokesman. And because even when he was playing the f football, he was more of a gospel person than, than a football player. And he already attained it, the goal, that the, the platform. He already, God already gave him the platform. So he doesn't really need to be in football anymore. Because when, I mean, he was just playing high school or, and especially college football, his fame was, I mean, I, never, I don't know the name of any football player in America. Right? Because I'm, I don't even watch it. But with his fame, the way he came on, I think I don't, many people know his, him and his name better than they know some superstars in N NFL. So he already had the notoriety, he already has the fame, he already became a God spokesman. What I'm trying to say is that God will use anybody and all of us, God has a place for us. God wants to use every one of us in one area or the other, but we must be free. We must not be limited by religion. We must not be limited by the four walls of the church. We must not be religion, I mean, limited by our families to go and experiment ourselves because, and then use that as a platform to be able to bring the kingdom of God to everywhere you are. And that's exactly what Tim Tebow has done. Uh, when he wanted, I mean, now he recently married and even in his marriage and through his marriage, he was also a God spokesperson. He was, you know, he made a statement by remaining celibate all through his life without, you know, you know, dating anybody before he met his wife. And then when he met the wife, he would remain celibate before the marriage. And so he is a God spokesman everywhere. And now he's going everywhere to speak and to talk for God. This is a phenomenal life. And I think all young people, if you have a child that you are struggling with to give the right direction, get the story, get the biography of uh, Tim Tebow. And as, as parents, you get to read his stories. And if you have children that are also, you know, interested in other extracurricular activity apart from education, look into the life of this guy and see how God could use anybody, anything to his glory. So Tim, keep on cruising for God. And we are praying for you and greater things are ahead. Blessings. Thank you for watching our videos. In this contemporary news, we are declaring to the rest of the world that God is invading the culture. God is taking back nations. God is taking back stars and big names to glorify his name. If you believe in the message, please leave your comment, share this message, and of course, like the video. Thank you so much. Bless.